Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Listen, ladies, if you're not staying hydrated and getting a solid 20 hours of sleep a day, you're going to show your age. Yes, Susie? Are we all? Oh, yes, good question. No, not yet, but you will one day. You want to put that off as long as possible. Why? Because, my dear naive Susie, nobody wants an old pet. Nobody. <laughs> good morning, ladies. Ah! Oh! Sam, help me out here. <laughs> ah, thanks, buddy. Sure. Oh, I had the most amazing dream. I was rolling around in a mud pit the size of a pond. It was amazing. Uh, <laughs> tell us more. Ah! Ah! Ah, what is that? Are you dying? Is this part of your face? Oh, relax. It's just a little avocado rinse to keep our coats youthful and shiny. Ah! Tasty. No, oh, I don't need that stuff. I get all my energy from a good night of howling at the moon. <laughs> <laughs> you need it more than any one of us, Wash. You're like what? A billion years old? Wait, what? What, what? Look, all I know is you're super duper old. <laughs> what do you mean, super duper old? Let's look at the numbers. Tell me, how old are you? I'm, I think maybe... Well, I have no idea. We don't really do birthdays in the woods. It doesn't matter anyway, because whatever age you think you are, you're actually seven times that age. I'm guessing you're somewhere around 35, or maybe even 40, so very old. <laughs> that most certainly does not sound about right. I'm as spry as they come. If you use the word spry, then you're definitely getting up there. But just to double check. Mm -hmm. What? What is it? What do you see? Not much, just... Ah! A gray hair. Mm -hmm. That means you're almost dead. A gray hair? But that's just like... This old silver fox I used to feed. <laughs> Thanks, Sonny. Whatever. I still got it. Sure you do, Wash. Just like that old silver fox had it. Wait, so you're saying that when you get old, you lay around and people bring you food? Sign me up! Well, yes, but that wasn't my point. Oldness is really nothing to get excited about. Treat time, my furry friends! Come and get it! <sighs> we splurged and got gingery ginger snaps for... <laughs> gingery ginger snaps? Ow! Gosh, are you okay? For the 10 billionth time, I'm fine. Stop treating me like your grandpa. Come here, lean on me. No, everyone leave me alone. <laughs> oh no, Wash, let me help you up. How about one more treat, old boy? Life is short, right? Want me to chew it for you first? I'm not old, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> Watch out, girls! <laughs> yeah. Watch and learn! A cub. Our idea of going for a walk was a 20-mile journey uphill both ways. Come on, Alfie, let's go inside. I want to play house. I told you, I'm not playing house until we have someone to play the grandpa. When I was a kid, our idea of playing house was eating rocks. If we wanted a grandpa... We... Hey, wait! We can get Washington to play the part. Actually, he can play our great-great-grandpa who is back from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> I can't 
can't look. It's just a sea of gray in here. What? Is everything all right? Huh? Speak up. We're worried about you. I know you all once thought of me as your spirited leader, but it's becoming clear that my aging body is letting you down. Maybe I'm no longer fit to be in this role. Maybe it's time for me to accept my elderly status and all that comes with it. But Wash, you're not elderly. When I was a cub, there was an old silver fox who lived in our den. I used to have to you chew- You told us this story! Really? About a hundred times. Well, that proves it. It's time for me to retire and go back to the woods. But we can't stay here without you, Wash. Out there. This is what old animals do. We return to nature. <sighs> I'd like to thank you all for coming to the Stop Washington from Leaving meeting. First on the agenda, how do we stop Washington from leaving? Oh, that's what's happening? I'm out of here. Wash can figure this out on his own. He's a big boy. I mean, an old boy. Well, <laughs> we're off to a great start. But let's stay focused. How do we get Wash to stay? Let's tie him up! He's so stubborn, we need to go and hide and pin him down! Yeah, okay. Any other suggestions? Oh, nope. oh, I got it! Lock him in a closet forever? This is going to be harder than I thought. What if we set up an easy, really, really easy obstacle course for him? Then he wins it, and he thinks he's still a young pup, and he doesn't leave, and we all live happily ever after. That's actually a really good idea. Thanks. Oh! Kids, you got a new play set now that the old man's on his way out. Life's for the living. No, Wash, this is for you. Huh? If you can make it to the end of this agility course, that means you're in the prime of your life. And you won't have to go back to the woods. Huh? Hmm, of course. If I don't make it to the end, I'll have no choice but to return to nature. Respectable thing. And go! want to go to the woods, having someone chew your food for you is no life at all. Start the stopwatch. They weren't even real rocks. Good try, everyone. Victoria, lead my friends well. Oops. I'm a little competitive. Wash, I'm so sorry. You're not an old man. And those balloons, I mean, rocks, I mean, I have really sharp claws. I could pop a rock. It's okay, Victoria. You don't have to pretend. I'm an old guy. It's time for me to say goodbye. <gasps> don't follow me. Let me go with dignity. <laughs> I guess this is as good as it's gonna be from now on. Surprise! Surprise! Happy birthday, Wash! 
however old you are. You guys came all the way out here to give this to me? You didn't really make it that far. Well, I was a bit tired, you know? Uh, but tell me, how did you know it was my birthday? We don't celebrate those back in the woods. We didn't have a clue. We just decided to celebrate the first day of your new life. You maybe want to blow out your candles? Candles, right? That's what you do when you celebrate a birthday. Stop dropping rolls! You okay, Wash? He's more than okay. Your gray hair is gone. <laughs> you look like a brand new cub again. Well, you look at that. I guess my days aren't numbered after all. Does that mean you'll come back home with us? Only if I can get more of those gingery ginger snaps. Yay! Yay! You don't need that thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, watch it! Oh. Oops, sorry. It's okay, Grandma. I'll give you a hand. Grandma? I'm not a grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. You didn't! I did. It's not every night your boss comes to dinner. Honey, you're a genius. Who doesn't love truffles, right? They cost a fortune, but... <laughs> These babies are gonna get me a tasty raise. The boss man will be very impressed. <laughs> you better keep your little nose out of these, Miss Victoria. So look, it's super simple. First, you throw it to the quarterback, who throws it to the runner over here. Hey, are you listening to me? <laughs> Football is fun! Get it! Yeah, you got it! Yes! Hmm, that smell. What is that? Why is that so familiar? Uh, what's up with Sam? Oh, no! I remember it now! That smell is the smell of truffles! <laughs> Those precious truffles, they're nothing but trouble. They turn Sam into a maniac. They are his one true love. He loses control around them. Of course, there's not a wild boar in the world that can resist a truffle once he gets a taste. Yeah, we all love that smell, but you're gonna have to find a way to control him. Because guess who else is crazy for truffles? Babarusas? Mm -hmm. Humans! They cost a fortune! Mm, you don't say. I do. Mr. L's boss is coming to dinner tonight, and those truffles are for him. So if Sam so much as sneaks a nibble, they'll freak. <laughs> what about Eugenie? She's never tasted one, so it shouldn't be a problem. But this is not good. Girls, go get me anything you can find to plug up his nose, quick! Hey, buddy, what's up? Come on, <laughs> relax, take a deep breath. That's all we can find. This is for your own good, dude. Hold on a second. I've got an idea. I cured myself of balls of yarn with hypnosis. Let me handle this. Look at me. You do not like truffles. Listen to me. 
Yeah, that really worked great. Truffles, truffles, truffles. Santa, please, stop! Why did you do that? My truffle tagliatelle is going to be divine if I do say so myself. Mm. <laughs> no, no. I just couldn't control myself. Sorry. If you're sorry, you better make it clear you did it before we all get in trouble. We can be kicked out or even abandoned for less than that. Let's not be so dramatic. If he doesn't own up, I'll expose you and it'll be back to the forest for everybody. She's right, Wash. It's all my fault. I'm the one who should be punished. Wait, there's got to be another solution. Doubt it. I mean, we know where to find more. And where would that be? In the forest, a.k.a. our old neighborhood. We should be able to go and get back before dinner. Yeah, well, I don't see how you'll ever get enough. No problem. I've got the best truffle detector in the whole world. Sam Snout. Yeah? How are you going to keep him from eating them once he smells them? Working on it. What was that noise? It's nothing. Nothing but nice, fun nature. Okay, let's get going. Wait, don't the truffles only grow near... Yes, Mitch's cave. That's the one little thing. If Mrs. L comes back before those dummies return, I'm the only one who's going to get in trouble. We'll help you. We don't want you to get punished. You're going to help me keep her out of the kitchen. I've got a couple awesome ideas, naturally. Ready? Go! <laughs> Woolwash, thanks for keeping me out of trouble. No probs, bro. That's what best friends are for. <laughs> Did someone say best friend? I knew it was you guys. <laughs> you missed Mitch, didn't you? Uh, actually, no. <laughs> hey, Mitch, what a nice surprise. <laughs> and now we'll never, ever get separated again. No, seriously, Mitch, we're in a hurry. Okay. Salad fork, truffle fork, steak knife. Okay, just keep Mrs. L out of the kitchen for as long as possible. Mm -hmm. No, Eugenie, I'll play with you later, Bunny. Out of the way now. setting the table. Oh, the stress is getting to me. You guys can move in with me and do everything I say. It'll be great. You can bring me human food. Mm -hmm. huh? I should tie you up. Maybe you'd like to hang upside down from the tree all night. Oh, you guys want some cricket cookies? Hold on. I forget what a bad temper he has. No kidding. Remember the time we went swimming with him? <laughs> mm? <gasps> oh, you bought snacks. No! <laughs> it's not for you right now. It's for after, after the show. Huh? What show? Uh, yeah, what show? The show to celebrate our reunion, Sam. The one we talked about? What are you talking about? We never talked about a show. <laughs> anyway, show time. Sam, why don't we start with a song? Uh, okay. I know Fairy Jacka. Okay. Fairy Jacka, Fairy Jacka. Enough! My turn. I'm gonna do a wonderful magic trick. Choose a card. Any card. <laughs> No 
honey. No, I'm busy. I'll play with you later. No, don't! You're gonna make me lose my balance! Ah! Ah! I've got just enough time to go and get new flowers. And you, little rascals, are going to go play in the yard. Shoot! Shoot! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! My nose is starting to itch. Oh, hey, Mitch, I know a great magic trick, too. You do? Watch closely. I'm gonna go all around the cave without touching the ground. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, right. Sam? Hocus pocus, flying fungus. Truffles, ah. <laughs> truffles, truffles. Bravo! Is this part of the trick? Hey, you get back here and have more fun. Wow, best magic trick ever. Jumbos! 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 We're coming! <laughs> what are you doing in here, you little rascal? Get away from my truffles! Okay, time to cook now. Come on, honey. How could you know your boss was allergic to truffles? Uh, my career is over. Quite possible. But what am I going to do with all of this now? Animals, come in here! <laughs> no point in letting the rest go to waste. Someone should enjoy my masterpiece while it's fresh. Well, you are officially the most spoiled pets in the neighborhood. <laughs> but empty little ones. <laughs> about these things anyway. <laughs> uh, yum! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I'm going to get you! The monster! He's after us! And when I do... Ah! <laughs> yeah? When I do, I will, I will... Mm, <laughs> cook you on my monster barbecue and eat you all up! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm hungry! Is it so hard to play their stupid games silently? <laughs> <sighs> 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 
at last. <laughs> You'll never find me. Care of that. Now then, where did my dream leave off? Ah! Uh, this is not good. Ah! Come on, snap out of it! Ah! Look, guys, don't worry about a thing. I'll take all the blame. Don't even try to talk me out of it. I simply insist. No, no. I'm telling you, I can handle it. Really. My very first sculpture in just one class. Can you believe it? Uh, no, I really can't. I'll just set it here to dry. It really reflects my inner feelings about the basic human condition. Who knew there was an artist inside of me just waiting to blossom? Uh, I love it, honey. It's really like, like, uh, like art. <laughs> <laughs> Washington, did you do this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was my grandmother's face. <laughs> oh, honey, look at his face. He didn't mean to break it. You know how clumsy dogs are. <laughs> You're right. My grandmother didn't even like that face very much. And I didn't really like my grandmother. Me neither. Well, I think Washington has learned his lesson. Right, Washington? He's really sad. Oh. Aw, oh, okay, Wash. Well. We should be going. Our dinner reservations are for seven. What time is it now? Uh, 6.59 and 18 seconds. <laughs> Yeah! Thanks for taking the blame, Washington. There's no way I can handle so much shaming. Whoa, you're a master. Let me try. Uh, I can't do it. I can't do that pain face you do. Well, I hope this is a lesson learned. One, I'm an excellent actor, and two, you guys really should <laughs> <laughs> Hey, did you not hear what I just said? I will not cover for you again. You've got nothing to worry about, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out! If anything happens to this thing, the Living Stones will blame me for it, and my sad face trick will only work once! <laughs> Just smash it already so I can get back to my beauty sleep. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> I'm gonna get you. Hey, that's enough. Hey, listen to me. Come on, hey. What? That's not enough. I need them to be quiet once and for all. <laughs> what? How? How did that happen? Huh? What? What happened? Something broke? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> What's with Washington? They're going to think he did it. Oh, Ray, why? Because they already took the blame for us last time with the vase. They're going to think he did this too. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be sent back to the forest. <laughs> <laughs> we have to fix this. <laughs> Alright, alright, I think I remember what it looked like. Let me try this. <laughs> well, well, well. Not bad. Not bad at all, if I may say so. Mrs. L's statue, the one she brought in. It looked just like that. The one she loves so much? <clears throat> yeah, that one. The one she's so proud of? The one that makes her so happy? Yes, yes. No? It didn't look like that. At all. You're right. Who am I kidding? This looks like it was put together in a blender. I think I can fix this. That's worse. It looks like nothing at all. Let me try. It's my turn! Yeah. Not bad, huh? I like the way it looks as though he's playing in a sandbox. Longing for the days of his youth. Wait! What are we doing? What about the statue? Oh no, they're back! Ah! Wait! Everybody calm down! Panic is not the answer! Panic is never the answer! <laughs> well, thanks guys. Looks like I'm in really big trouble. Not a second to lose! Right here! Okay! Uh, some wings? Uh, no head? Uh, a bit like this? <gasps> Look, hon! They love my sculpture! <laughs> it almost looks like they're worshipping it! <laughs> I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. We're off to the farmer's market, kiddos. No wild parties, okay? Animals throwing a party? Too much. <laughs> Too much. 
you too much. <laughs> yeah! Yes! An entire costume-free afternoon to do whatever we want. Yes, like soak in a tub. Get away the fridge. Invite our toenails. Huh? Uh -oh. For the fridge thing, whatever. You guys are going to get so busted. No way, they'll be gone for hours. Huh? Huh? Ah, they're back. Panic! Ah! Do this to me, Zipper, not you, not you! Can't leave without our favorite podcast. Podcast and it. Uh huh? Hey! Oh, that was odd. I thought cats always landed on their feet. Hey! Oh. Uh -huh. hey. Look, hon, he wants to shake. Roll over. Roll over, boy! <laughs> <laughs> now play dead, Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant! Hooray! <laughs> that was close. Good thing you play a dog so well, Washington. No biggie. Just raw talent mixed with a total commitment to my craft. But whatever. No, really, Washington. You're like the king of domestic pets. The king of domestic pets? Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the majestic domestic. Yeah. The Majestic Domestic. Oh, that's good. I like that. Majestic Domestic? He's acting like a house pet. It's not that hard. It is for me. I can't even land on my feet. You'll get it, big guy. Just keep practicing and someday... You'll be as good as you. Well, I was going to say you'll improve, but many things possible. You'll take it. Oh, hail the Majestic Domestic. Remember, total commitment, Sam. Put your paws out and let it rip. Commit, commit, commit. Hmm, you're still holding back. Maybe if the platform was higher. Yeah, that's it. You're a genius. Me? A genius? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. <sighs> Brother. Something to say, Vic? Me? No, I mean, you are pretty high on yourself right now, but I'll hold my tongue till you slip up and take a fall. Well, I hope you're ready to wait a while because there's nothing the Majestic Domestic can't handle. We're home, kiddos, and there's someone we'd like you to meet. <laughs> Say hello to Petunia. <laughs> While we were at the market, we saw her in a tragically small cage. <laughs> Chicken! So, until we find her a better home, Petunia will be our guest. <laughs> uh, chicken! What is Washington doing? Being friendly. This book we got, How to Take Care of Chickens, says dogs and hens are natural allies. Well, if the book says so, I blindly accept it. And just look at his happy little smile. Good dog! <laughs> Washington, you can't get out now. We're meeting our new guest. Wolf? All right, all right, yes. Wow, I guess when you've got to go, you've got to go. Perfect. A free-range farm where our little chick will be happy. Great. See you soon. Bye. Good news, hon. The farmers can pick up Petunia on Saturday. <laughs> Hello, Washington. How's it going with Petunia the chicken? I thought foxes couldn't resist a nice, fat, juicy chicken. And we're just natural enemies. Huh? Gee, what if you're right? What if I can't control myself? Oh, no! In case you can't tell, I was being sarcastic. And don't forget, I'm the Majestic Domestic. He's right, Vic. Back in the wild, Wash was always talking about how much she loves chickens. And now look at him. He doesn't even look at Petunia. See? He's really the Majestic Domestic. Bok, bok. Oh, <laughs> hey there, Petunia. Nice to eat. Ah! I get the next hug. Washington, my slippers, bad dog. <laughs> Go, Sam, you can do it. <laughs> 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 
Commit, Sam. Commit. Commit. <laughs> Mayonnaise powder. <laughs> yeah. Ah, it's too hard, too oh, hard, too hard. Wait a minute. <laughs> How to take care of cats and how to take care of chickens. Let's mix it up a bit. Huh? What's that? Apparently, chickens love sunbeams. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's cats. It says so right here. Never mind then. Blindly accepted. make it unless I make the full commitment. <laughs> guys, guys, what day is this? It's the day Sam finally lands on his feet. That's what day it is. Yeah, total commitment time. Make it higher, guys, higher. No, I mean, is today Saturday? <gasps> it's the farmers! Ha <laughs> ha! I made it! It's all gonna be fine now! Hello? Mr. and Mrs. Livingstone! Us farmers are up at 5 a.m. We'll have to come back next week. Let's go. No, don't. You can't. No, no, no. Uh, Washington, something wrong? Wrong? I, 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 I'm in control. Okay, then could you not act like a crazy person for a sec? Sam's about to jump. Thanks. Commit, Sam. Commit. Commit. <sighs> You know, guys, I'm worried it's still not high enough. Ah! <laughs> no! Get away! Get away! Stop him! <laughs> you can't fight me forever! It's hopeless! <laughs> Bush, I don't understand. What's gotten into you? Foxes eat chicken, Sam! And I can't stop trying to eat Petunia! <laughs> Where is Petunia? Don't worry, she's safe. I took care of her. <laughs> I know! I'm not a domestication master! I'm a domestication monster! <laughs> I knew it! Yes! Yes! You all heard him admit it. You're my witnesses. Actually, I should have this documented. And do we know any notaries? Never mind, it's just a symbolic thing, but you'll sign it, right? You have to sign it. Hey, come on, Victoria. Yeah, not nice. But guys, she's right. I'm not what I thought I was. Maybe, but you're still our friend. Thanks. <coughs> Look, the farmers haven't left yet. I told you that you can't substitute orange juice for oil. Okay, okay, let's find a gas station. Okay, it's my duty to help you, Wash. I'll find a way to restrain them until the elves wake up. Wish me luck. Good luck. For Washington. For Washington. One. I did it. I actually did it. He did it. He did it. How's it going, furry friends? Meow. Sam? Meow. What 
are you doing out there, buddy? You know this cat? He's really phenomenal. He just landed on my hood from out of nowhere. Oh, yes it is. And by the way, hello. You aren't the free-range farmer, are you? Yes, we are. And by the way, we're here for the chicken you have on your head. Huh? <laughs> Guys, I just want to say thanks for sticking with me. You're welcome, I guess. As long as I don't have to hear the name Majestic Domestic ever again. Don't worry, I learned my lesson. Besides, we all know who the real hero is. The Phenomenal Feline. The Phenom... The Phenomenal Feline! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. favorite dish, Mr. Livingstone's too. <laughs> come on, Mr. Livingstone, come home. Now? Now? No! <sighs> Why does Mr. Livingstone go camping anyway? In the woods. Just thinking about it makes me want to store extra calories. It's a human thing, Sam. Going camping helps him get in touch with his primitive self. Hmm? His real, like, Wild self, almost like us. It still makes no sense. <laughs> Mr. Livingstone's natural environment is in front of the TV. So lucky. Ah, yeah. It's Mr. L. Who is that guy? Hey, everybody. Mr. Livingstone doesn't look like that. Whoa! What in the world is this new look? Are you really my husband? <laughs> you betcha. Except I feel like a million bucks. How? <laughs> Mr. Livingstone doesn't talk like that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What is that? It's a monster! He's eating the monster! I admit, that's <laughs> terrifying. You wouldn't believe how great it feels to get back to real life. Fishing for your food, building campfires, sleeping under the stars. I'm a new man. <laughs> really? Yep. In fact, I want to start building stuff with my hands. <laughs> uh, oh, I thought you were kidding. Of course you should build things with your hands. Of course. Hmm. Are you sure it's Mr. Livingstone? It's his voice. Are you kidding? Look at his face. It's got fur stuck all over it. Uh, what about the monster that keeps coming out of his mouth? It's like Mrs. L doesn't even notice it. But the weirdest thing of all is that costume with a zipper. You guys are right. I think he's got to be an alien from outer space. Uh, what? An E.T., an extraterrestrial. Some of them prefer to be called Martian. Huh? <gasps> oh, forget it. Sometimes I forget how you guys know nothing. But I want to know. <sighs> What's an extraterrestrial? Don't know. They're not from the forest. Hello. Oh. They're from outer space. <laughs> Yeah? Check out those weird-looking humans, Wash. Those aren't humans, Sam. Those are extraterrestrials. Hmm? Look! Fur on their faces! Just like Mr. Livingstone! <laughs> 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 If Mr. 
Mr. Livingstone is an extra rest doll, he might steal our kibble! No! <laughs> cool it, Sam. I think Vic is trying to take us for a ride. Yeah, we gotta hide the kibble! The kibble, Sam? That's your main concern? Didn't you see the Martians carry off that adorable family dog? Mm -hmm. But you're right, kibble must be saved. Sam! Fork it over. I don't trust it under the sofa. My stomach's much safer. Morning, everybody. <laughs> What's with them? I'll feed them. They've been acting kind of distant ever since my absence. He's looking for our kibble. Or he just wants to feed us. But Mrs. L usually feeds us. Honey, where'd you put the kibble? I could have sworn we had some. For now, they can have this. What's with you guys? It's toast. <laughs> well, as you like. Sam, no, it's a trap. <laughs> Whoa, that Martian is smart. He knows I love bread. That's just proof that he knows you, Sam. It has to be Mr. Livingstone. Well, I think he looks a lot more like a Martian than Mr. Livingstone. I agree. If we get any closer, bam, he'll capture us and force us into his flying saucer. His flying saucer? Where, pray tell, is he keeping this flying saucer? Right here. Sam, that's just the shed covered with a tarp, not a flying saucer. Ah! Seriously, what's up with them? They just want to play hide and seek. Not right now, I'm afraid. I've got some building to do. Uh, hear that? He's working on his saucer in there. It must have gotten damaged when he landed. Okay, listen. Don't move. I'm gonna take a peek. Do you see anything? No. Yes, maybe. So what is it, huh? What is it? Is it a saucer? Yeah, I can't stand it anymore. I have to see. <laughs> What in the? <laughs> it's you. Now you want to be near me. Yeah! Okay, you guys were right. That is a flying saucer and he's an alien. Run for your lives! What in the world is wrong with those guys? <sighs> What's he doing? And he's communicating with his Martian friends. What's he saying to them? Probably that he couldn't find our kibble, so he's gonna bring us over dinner. <laughs> <laughs> or at least me. I'm the adorable family dog, remember? <laughs> you really think Martians are scared of wild animals, Wash? Of course they are. That's why they never come to the forest. Hey, what are you dummies doing? When I said Mr. Livingstone was a Martian, it was just a joke. That's what I thought too, Vic. Wash, Mr. Livingstone let his beard grow and got a new sweater on his trip. The pink stuff is called bubblegum. It's just a stage. Mm-hmm. And the flying saucer? Flying saucer? There's no flying saucer. Wash, do you realize what you're about to do? You're going to expose yourself entirely naked in front of Mr. Livingstone. Mm -hmm. Don't listen to her, Wash. The aliens have taken over her brain. Sorry, Vic. It's pretty obvious. Huh? There he is, Sam. Man your station.
Honey? 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 you've been using in the shed. The fumes have gone to your head. I mean it, honey. You need some fresh air. Okay, okay. Come with me. I've got something to show you. <sighs> oh, no. We blew it. If huh? Mrs. Livingstone hadn't come home, the E.T. would have gone back to his planet. What do you think? It's... It's... A spaceship! Uh, I knew it right from the beginning! What more proof do you need? Yeah, okay. This looks very bad. Truly uh, really creative! And I bet your dog here is dying to go uh, for a ride. Oh, 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 oh no! no! <laughs> 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 Oh, I should have taken more care about the trajectory. Hey there, handsome. I was starting to miss you. Well, hello. It's my old husband. What's wrong with you guys? One would think you saw an extraterrestrial. As usual, you guys should have listened to moi. I knew all along Martians were fake. Are you sure? Come on, everyone! Lunch time! Mmm, yummy! <laughs> hey. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Girls want to learn to bake cookies? Maybe I'll give you a little cookie dough for a treat. Oh, yay! We're gonna be cookies! Yippee! <laughs> you may have to compete with Washington. some fun tonight. Huh? We are? Oh, yes, we are. <laughs> It'll be fun for the whole family. You'll see. <laughs> okay, come on. Tell me what it is. It's something no cat can resist. It's a laser pen. And not just any laser pen. It's the Phantom Red 3000. Let the games begin. <laughs> Come on, don't catch it! Whoops, I'm too fast for you! <laughs> what is that thing she's chasing? I don't know, but whatever it is, she really wants it. We meet again, Red Dot, but this time you will be mine! <laughs> Sam, what's wrong? <laughs> 
What kind of cat doesn't want to catch the dot? Did you hear that, Sam? You gotta catch that dot. But I don't care about the dot. Well, you better fake it. Fake it? <laughs> Sam, if you don't get out there and catch that dot, Mr. L is gonna find out you're not really a cat. <clears throat> catch the dot. Catch the dot. Go on, champ. Catch the dot. Catch the dot. Catch the dot. Huh? I'll catch you, red dot. Sam, I've never seen a cat with such horrible aim. <laughs> what? Stand in my way, you clumsy boar. <laughs> I'm suddenly married to a big kid. He's going crazy with that toy. <laughs> Get it, Sam! Get it! By any means necessary! Out of my way! There are only winners in this family! Win, win, win! Dud! Get it, Sam! If you love this comfy life, you'll catch that dot! Red dot! Red dot! Come on, Sam, I'm with you! Come on, Sammy, you're the best! Come on, Sam! Red dot! Red dot! Must catch the red dot! <laughs> Sam, you're the clumsiest cat ever! Hmm. <laughs> 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 red dot, red dot, you must catch the red dot at all costs, at all costs. If I didn't know any better, I'd say he isn't faking it anymore. At all costs, at all costs. Red dot, red dot. Red dot, red dot, red dot. <laughs> Champ, that dot is yours! Don't give up now, you're so close! Now listen to me. Carve into those turns when the dot takes those corners. Now, don't let Vic intimidate you. Just get right up there in front of her. Even if her claws do hurt a little. Oh yeah, and can you try not to whiz by Eugenie and Susie so much? They're pretty... dizzy. I love this kid. Dot! Red Dot! Must catch the red dot. You know you're never gonna get it, right? Dot. Wait, what? Red dot. How do you know that? Because, hello, no cat has ever caught the red dot before. Huh? The cat who finally does catch the red dot will become the enlightened feline leader. Hmm. But that is pretty much definitely no way going to be Sam. No offense, Sam, but you are definitely not a cat. And since I'm the only cat here, that means you're going to lose. Catch the dot! Catch the dot at all costs! Catch the dot! Can't catch the
<laughs> I think I need a timeout. Good idea. <laughs> red dot. Get the red dot. <laughs> Come on, get it, Sam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> get it, Vic. <laughs> oh, boy. This has to end. I gotta talk to Sam. Uh, Sam? Listen, buddy, we gotta talk. Uh, I think Vic's right. You're never gonna catch that dot. So, you should stop now. Catch the dot. Catch the dot. Sam? Catch the dot. Catch the dot. Tell him, Vic. Tell him. Red dot. 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 Red that red stupid dot. red dot red has dot. turned this entire red household upside red down. Red <laughs> stupid red dot. Making everyone crazy. Destroying everything. Stupid dot. Stupid dot that cannot <gasps> be caught. Ah, wait a minute. I need your help. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Get 
is just about the coolest thing I've ever heard. What? It's horrible. Ear torture is what it is. Yeah! Oh. He's a cat, and he can't even stand on his own four paws. <sighs> it was too emotional for her. <laughs> we can't get away! Looks like fun. Sam, feel like going outside and... Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Long time no see. How have you been since yesterday? I uh, dug up this treasure just for you, sweetheart. Ah, uh, gee, thanks. Whatever it is, I'm allergic. As you wish. Mm. Oh. 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 You're so cute when you smile. Say what? <sighs> My childhood guitar. Why in the world did I ever stop playing? I think you said you weren't very good. I so admired your honesty. Why, thanks. Well, anyway, I guess I'll just throw this junk out. Junk? He doesn't mean that guitar. He can't throw it out. No! Follow me. I just knew you couldn't live without me. Yeah, I was so upset I was taking a nap. Make uh -huh. room for me, sweetheart. Are you absolutely certain you wouldn't be more comfortable somewhere else? Like in the middle of a highway, for example? <laughs> nah, this is where I feel best, sweetheart. <laughs> I'll snuggled up with you. <laughs> Going to the flea market is a great idea, honey. Who knows? We might even find some great new junk now that we've cleared out our old junk. Okay, follow me. Hey, I've got a super idea for a game. I count to ten, and while I'm yeah. counting, you run off far, far away from me, like, say, to the other side of the city. Easy, right? Let's start. <sighs> One, two, huh? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> Chill out, honey bunch. I just oh. wanted to clean your ears. How can I possibly make you understand? Don't sweat it, sweet pea. I'll do the other ear next. Oh. It's really too bad for the two of us, but you see, I've already got a tomcat in my life. <laughs> yes, in fact, it's the guy who was just playing that Beautiful guitar riff. Mm -hmm. Sam, my rock and roll boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Sam. You can stop now. I don't know if I could take so much awesomeness in one day. I understand. Ugh. I should give my paws a rest anyway. Who was that cat? Oh, he was a nobody. Just some flea bitten alley cat. So, hang out later? Yeah? <laughs> uh. Too high! We need something to get higher! Dirty! Nice, 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 nice! 
check out what I found in the treasure trove. An apple catcher. We can help the girls catch the fruit in the tree. Let's go. Sorry, Rush. I've got other plans. What? You made plans without me? Well, you know, Victoria and me. We get along super well now. She's seen my musical talents and she accepts me as a real cat friend. So, you'd rather sit around with silly Vic than jump for apples with cool me? Sorry, but when you're a cat, sometimes you just have to hang out with other cats. Okay then, go hang out with your cat friend. But you're gonna miss out on a ton of fun, a ton I say. Victoria! What kind of awesome cat activity have they got planned for this afternoon? A nap contest? That is so lame. <laughs> Phew, that was a close call. <laughs> Been looking for you, Dumplin. Uh, one, my name is Victoria. Two, you're not allowed to come in through our cat flap without being invited. Very invited by me! <laughs> Unreal! Where were you brought up? City dump? Why? Yeah, keep it going, Sam. It's insane! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Go on, do it like that! No, you do it like this! Girls, girls, calm down a second. Let a pro show you how it's done. Mm. Must have been a squirrel. <laughs> you and me can pass around eternity! Awesome, Sam! Awesome! You just saved my life! Yo, oh, thank you, Vic. You know, you're basically my coolest friend. I know. I mean, thanks. Okay then, so see you later, okay? <sighs> Vic and I are just getting tighter and tighter. <laughs> hey there, buddy. Oh, yeah, I remember you. Enough about me. Let's talk about you. So... Are you the dude I heard playing the musical chainsaw? Yeah, yeah, that was me, but it's, uh, a guitar. You've been playing for a long time, dude? Yeah, uh, no, not for very long. Dude, you must be kidding. You're awesome. I bet the chicks just love to hear you play. Well, yeah, there is one. Yay! Boy. I really don't have an ear for music. Uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, maybe you should give me back my guitar now. <laughs> Phew, for a second there, I thought you were going to... <laughs> uh, hey, come back here! Sam, let me tell you, this is way, way more fun than hanging out with Vic. No, no! <laughs> hey! Come back here! <laughs> Private property here? No trespassing. And don't ever let me see you hanging around here again. Ralph, 
<laughs> Sometimes being a dog is cool. <laughs> <laughs> This is way more fun than doing cat stuff! <laughs> Nap time. Oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Stupid costume is killing me! Who knew wearing two layers of fur could be so hot? This must be what it's like to be a baked potato! I just want to rub my bare belly on a blanket of fresh moss under the shade of a pine tree. Oh, the whining. That's the price you pay for the fake life. You have no idea how much hard work it takes to fool everybody. You think it's so marvelous in this costume? Costume is marvelous! <laughs> <laughs> okay, gang, we're off to the neighborhood carnival. If we can learn to walk in this thing. We'll be back late! Left you extra kibble! Ouch! Sorry, hon. Whoop. Friends, thanks to the elves spending the day in costume, we get to spend this very hot day out of costume. bad enough with your costumes on, but au natural, it's like bring on the barbarians. Yes! We should air these babies out. To the right, dear. No, that way! Oh, wait a sec. Stop! Oh, hello, Alvarez. Nice costume there, living stones. Why, thanks, Mr. Snubinsky. The only drawback is how hot it gets inside. Oh, that's why you're gushing? I thought you were dressed up as Niagara Falls. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll go home and change. Wash! Wash! Disaster City! Our costumes are gone! Sam! You're just not used to running around in your birthday suit. All this freedom is making you nervous. Somebody stole our costume? Our huh? costumes! <laughs> hey, what are you all looking at me for? Ha <laughs> ha, so hilarious. Now give us our costumes back, please. Uh, I don't have them. But even if I did, you were sick of your stupid costumes anyway, weren't you? Whatever. With my super nose, I'll find them in no time. Seeing what they smell like, that should be a cinch. <laughs> I'm getting a whiff over here. <laughs> yeah! Alfie and Gracie stole our costumes. Are we allowed to panic now? No, focus. We have to get our costumes back, otherwise it's bye-bye good life and a hello gloomy forest. Oh no, how can I help? Return you to the forest, that is. Huh? Mm -hmm. There! All that's left are Eugenie and Susie's costumes. Ooh. They must have gone to the carnival in ours. Ours were too small, or they smell too good. My wonderful costume! No! What are we going to do? Well, we can't hang outside stark naked. I know that. <laughs> Back so soon? Victoria! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got so uncomfortable. I can't wait. Ah! Oh, yes, it's so hot. Oh, now, is 
Isn't it more comfortable being a Roman than a horse? You can say that again. And we can see where we're going, too. Okay, we got ourselves a breather, but we've got to get our costumes back before the elves come home. But how? We can't go out like this. You're right. But fortunately, we have the perfect costume. Stay close to me. We can't let anyone see us. Yeah, well, I can't see anything at all. We're going to a real carnival with rides and everything. This is going to be awesome. Well, if this is any indication, it's definitely going to be memorable. Look! Like I said. Sorry, those were your ears. We thought you were us. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Hey, Wash! Hey, Wash! Not now, Eugenie. No time for games. Bummer, because I thought we were playing tag with Gracie and Alfie. Say what? Well, yeah, they went that way. Okay, gotta be super discreet. The best thing for us is to split up. Sam and I will go this way. Victoria, you go that way with Susie and Eugenie. What? No way! I only tagged along so I could watch you make fools of yourselves. I have no intention of babysitting. <sighs> so I guess we're spending the rest of the afternoon together. Is that the deal? Oh, yes! <sighs> Come on! There's tons of rides we want to try out! <sighs> Oh, it's a furnace in here. Phew, life was more comfortable as a cat. Don't sweat it. We'll have our old costumes back in no time. And then we'll never, ever take them off again. Hey, hey, why don't you look where you're going? Living stones? Back so soon? I thought you were going to change costumes. Nothing in your size. <laughs> what do we do? I don't know. Wait. Say what? Hey, are you all right in there? You seem a bit out of sorts there, Livingstone. Maybe you should go back home. <laughs> so, dude, anything exciting happened while we were gone? But, but, you, the horse. You seem a bit out of sorts there, Snubinsky. Maybe it's the heat. Why don't you go home? Huh? There's something I can't understand. Yeah! <laughs> can't let them out of our sight. the forest now that we've lost Alfie, Gracie, and our costumes. Susie, do a flyby and see if you can't spot Alfie and Gracie from up there. Oh, is this a game? Exactly, that's what it is, like hide and seek. We've got.
gotta catch them before the elves get home. Susie, you guide us. Aren't you guys getting bored with all this running? This time, there's no letting them get away. <gasps> what is that thing? It's funny. It looks like a dinosaur. Uh, I can't take any more of this. I promise I will never ever let you out of my sight again. <laughs> oh, poor guys. You had to stay home alone all day. Must have been boring. And that's why we brought you a little surprise. <laughs> Since you couldn't come to the carnival, we brought the carnival home to you. Ta da! Costumes! Now we'll all be able to party together! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Tell me when to stop, okay? <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> Meow. Arf, arf. Oh, is Sam Sam arf, hungry? Arf. I thought I'd just opened that this morning. Uh, that'll be enough for you today. Enjoy your meal. Ten second view. Sam? Sam? Sam! Someone shrunk my costume. Someone shrunk it. Get back in your suit right now. If you don't, everybody will notice that you're not a cat but a big fat boar. <laughs> You guys, Sam's costume doesn't fit anymore. Give me a hand, fast. <laughs> Sam, enunciate. Uh, I think he says I'm suffocating. <laughs> You've got to fight for your right to get back into costume. Come on. No, Sam. No, Sam. Master pal. Hey, where are you going? Whoa, man. What's all the racket? Come on, Sam. Your training's not over. Well, I'll be. You. A pig that meows. Arf, 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 arf. Arf, 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 arf. It, go away with your weird bark. <laughs> Sam, 
Someone needs our help! Fast! Yippee! <laughs> I love that toy. Hmm. I love my life. Don't panic, Sam. I'm gonna get you out. We're going to hoist you over. Honey! Who wants a treat? <laughs> Hang on tight, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I love that toy. Good boy. Get it, honey bunch. Sam, what about your diet? You don't understand. You're just a skinny fox. I hate squeezing into my costume, and I like eating cookies. Huh? Ree, ree. Miss Treat likes the real me. But Sam, the warmth of a cookie can't compare to the warmth of a family. Well... There you go, honey bunch! <laughs> I'd rather leave than see any more of this. Farewell, Sam. Ah, there you are. But where's Sam? Sam? <laughs> Sam, no. you! No. Ah, Sam. Are you okay, boy? You look slim. Wait a minute. I've got something for you. Wow, Sam. You look slim and trim. Think it's me, Washington in disguise. How does Sam do it? It's exhausting. I need to take a break. Honey, where's Washington? Hmm? Washington? Washington! 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 Say you want ham, say you want lunch. There's only one name that's Honey Bunch. Say you want ham, say you want lunch. There's only one name that's Honey Bunch. Come here, Honey Bunch, my little lunch. <sighs> Looks like somebody's putting on weight. <laughs> here we go, the diet talk. Well done, my friend. Enjoy! You can eat one more, can't you, piggy boy? This is great! Washington? Oh no! I'd rather leave than see any more of this. It's all my fault that he left. This was his first birthday with us. I looked really cute that day. Maybe somewhere along the way, we stopped showing Washington how much we love him. Oh, honey, you're great. It's me. I've been too wrapped up in my work. Group hug! <coughs> no cookie can compare to Washington, even if it is insanely, unbelievably delicious. Washington, you just hang in there. I'm gonna bring you back home. Honey? Honey Bunch! Where are you, ham to be? Oh. <laughs> Where do you think you're going, you little piece of fat ham? What the? Say, isn't that the nickname that lady gave to Sam? Honey Bunch? Yep! So that means Sam is gonna be on TV! Yes! yes. Uh, no, not exactly. He's gonna be in the oven! She's gonna turn him into a big fat ham? No! Mm -hmm. oh. <sighs> Sam, come back! Come on, Vic. It's good karma. I think Victoria wants a cuddle, dear. 
Say you want ham, say you want lunch. There's only one name that's honey bun. Sam! <sighs> Washington, help! Let's go home, buddy. What's all that racket? Oh, man! Hey, that's my costume. Not bad, right? Ah! Pastor Sam, she wants you for dinner. Come back here, honey bunch. The oven is preheated. <laughs> Pastor Sam, faster. Come on, I'm here for you, buddy. Focus. No, Sam. No, Sam. No, Sam. Faster. She's gaining on us. This is our chance. Yeah. <laughs> be so selfish anymore. <sighs> Don't worry, Sam. The most important thing is that we're still best friends. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Honey, look who's home. Give me a hug, my sweet little doggy. <laughs> Pew! Somebody smells like garbage. <laughs> Pew, you stink. Right. Okay. Starting now, it's all about motivation. New eating habits, new Sam. Huh? Yeah! Oh, Sam! <laughs> new me. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. What's Sam, Ali doing? Sam, Ali oh, Kazir. he's playing fancy fetch. It's where you get dressed up and play fetch with a black and white stick. Amazing Alfie makes flowers appear. <coughs> Nuts. Why isn't this working? Oh, wrong sleeve. Yes, haha. <laughs> I did it. It's amazing. I don't think this is fetch. Where did those flowers come from? Obviously, they came from the garden he's hiding in his arm. <coughs> There's nothing like a good dig to remind me what it's like to be a boar. Know what I mean, Susie? Sure do! Sometimes I just fly around to remind me what it's like to be a bird. But you're a bird disguised as a bird. When do you not feel like a bird? Eugenie, stop! Holes are dangerous! You don't know what's down there! Fine. What are you guys doing? Watching, Alfie. He's doing a weird fetch dance with his garden arm. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing with that bunny? I can't see! Eugenie, stop! You can get hurt! Or worse, really hurt. What is it with you today, Sam? Why aren't you letting me do anything? I'm just looking out for you. As your big brother, it's my job to do that. 
can I remember to? Well, I don't <laughs> need you to. I'm a big boar, and I can take care of myself. Alakazam, Alakazir! Oh! Where did the bunny go? Clearly, the bunny went to the market to get hors d'oeuvres. Huh, you don't know the rules of fancy. Fetch it all. Wash, stop pretending you know what's happening. He's doing a magic trick. Humans watch them for fun. Ah, sounds like fun! Not if it means being close to Alfie. One time, he spit bubblegum in my fur. Uh? He's gross and sticky and a menace to animals everywhere. <sighs> You've been through so much! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Magician, which means I'll never get invited to birthday parties, which means I'll never have cake again! Cake! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Is this your bunny? Yep. Her name's Eugenie, remember? Could I borrow her? Huh? Well, uh, Alfie, I... Please, please, please! It's show and tell at my school and I need a bunny for my magic trick. What am I supposed to do? Make a rock disappear? No one cares about rocks, Mr. Elf! <laughs> Okay, okay. You can borrow Eugenie if you promise to take very good care of her. I'll do better than that. I'll take very, 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 very good care of her. We're gonna have the best day ever. We gotta rescue her. Who's with me? Me! Aren't you coming back? As much as I long to be a hero, someone's got to stay behind in case Eugenie comes home. You're so smart and selfless. We're so close, I can almost taste it. <laughs> it tastes like dirty bus. Hurry up, guys. No time to sleep. We're coming for you, Eugenie. <laughs> She can't! They're tossing her around! Yo! My baby sister's in danger! She could get hurt or air sick or swallow a fly! Well, those kids can find her zipper and know she's not a real bunny! You didn't see what happened to the last bunny? So many dangers! Oh, are you the cutest? I could hug you all day! So fluffy! <laughs> if Sam mm -hmm. could see me now, he'd know I could take care of myself! You guys should really stop running into things with your faces. Oh, so cute. Wow, your buddy's funny. I wish I had one instead of a stupid goldfish. Eugenie, you're cooler than a T-Rex and a lion combined. We're going to kick butt at the show and tell. I heard there was a project today. Everybody in? Great. We're almost there, buddy! Except for this locked fence! And humans everywhere! What do you want to do before school starts? Let's play pirates! Arr, Eugenie! Let's dig for treasure! Arr! Huh? Is she digging? She knows how I feel about home. It's gonna be okay, Sam. It's not like... Ah! Oh, no! Is she yeah. in a tree? <gasps> you need to be on the lookout for scoundrels who are after me treasure! This is awesome! Hey, is that Sam and Wash? That's not safe! Eugenie, stop jumping! Screaming doesn't help, Sam. Susie, can you send a message? <laughs> Chicken out! I'm in the tree! No way! Me too! Oh, and I have a message from Sam. He says, get down from this tree the same thing, young lady. Why is he being so overprotective? I'm fine. I don't have a scratch on me. You can tell him I say no. 
I'm having a blast. Besides, Elfie's nice. Elfie must have given Eugenie a head injury because that's crazy talk. That's the last straw. We've got to find a way in without being seen. I have an idea. Shh. Hey, Bush. Quiet, Sam. Bushes don't talk. You're going to blow our cover. What if someone hears you? Then they'd have super hearing because no one's here. Where is everyone? Yay! Welcome to Show and Tell, everyone. First up is Billy. Hello, everyone. This is my pet, Ant. Oh, no. Where'd he go? No one move. He has a family. <laughs> All right, Billy. We'll keep an eye out for your tiny pet, Ant. Oh, okay. Next up is a... Uh... The Amazing Alfie! I am the Amazing Alfie! <laughs> For my first trick, I'm gonna make my bunny <laughs> magically disappear! <laughs> Alakazam! Alakazat! Eugenie, disappear in this hat! Huh? <laughs> now are we gonna get Eugenie now? Oh no! This is what happened to the last bunny right before it landed in the street. Wait, where did she go? Where did she go? Is this part of the show? This is better than TV. Elsie brought those bushes to life. I did? Oh, that's great. My magic powers are stronger than I knew. Kids, inside now. <laughs> We have to get to Elfie. He's the only one who can bring Eugenie back. Sam! Huh? Sam! <laughs> Eugenie, you didn't disappear. Of course not, silly. I've just been hanging out in here. Check it out. <laughs> Pretty sweet, huh? Elfie made it. I was worried sick about you. And you were lounging? You don't need to be worried. I'm big enough to handle things on my own. I know I'm adorable, but I'm not a baby. She's right, Sam. Eugenie was on her own all day, and she's still in one piece. Oh. <laughs> I guess you're right. I just worry because I care. You may not be a baby, but you'll always be my little sister. And you'll always be my baby. <gasps> and I'll always be a bird. Sorry, I thought we were all saying what we are. I'll try to be less overprotective. <laughs> That's all I ever wanted. Today. Sorry, I don't want to disturb your touching reconciliation, but what are we doing with Alfie? The panic will spread. We'll be accused of black magic. That's right, and you said he was nice. However, <laughs> oh man, that's not fair. Look what you did, you ruined show and tell. Turn those bushes back. I'm sorry, but I don't know how. Huh? Mm -hmm. Alakazam, Alakazup. Magic, make those bushes stop. <laughs> Wow, Alfie, you're quite the magician. You just need to practice. I can't believe I woke up for this. Huh? The tree's alive! It really is magic! That's it! Here we are! <laughs> you see? I told you it was useful to dig holes! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. 
but the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguise as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Anybody smell something stinky? All I can smell is the heat. Hmm, you mean like a rotten cauliflower? Yeah, just like that. I smell it now, but I think it's a pile of dirty, wet socks. Mm -hmm. You're both wrong. It's Sam. Come on, Vic. That's a low blow. Of course it's not. <laughs> Hey, Washington. Trying to drink this milk, but it's kind of chunky. It's your smell, Sam. It's curdled the milk. Oh, well, it is a hot day. And bats are very boring. Sam, when was the last time you had one? Yes, uh, let's see. One, two... What month is it? What? No wonder you smell. Yeah, I smell great. Unique. <laughs> you don't smell great. You smell gross. Can't you smell your stink? No, that is the, uh, uh, skunk. I know you're not blaming me for that stench, yo, but you want some of my stink, just say so. Uh, we're fine. You're very scary, though. Impressive. Well, the skunk's gone, but the stink is not. Love me, love my smell. This is gonna be a long summer. Would you like a bacon sandwich, dear, or bacon between two pieces of bread? I think I'd prefer a piece of bacon with bread on each side. <laughs> <laughs> What's that smell, honey? It's certainly not bacon. It smells almost boarish. Like a wild boar, don't you think? Yes, it's just like wild boar. But how could that be? <gasps> Hear that? The elves are about to discover our secret, thanks to Sam Stink. They won't smell it if we secretly stick branches up their nostrils. True, but I think they might notice branches up their nostrils. Well, until we find the source, we just need... Air, air freshener. freshener! And we need some boar freshener. Good luck finding that at the store. If you'll excuse me, I need to go breathe. We may not be able to buy boar freshener, but we can make a super crazy smell to disguise Sam stink. We'll start with bacon grease. Ha ha! Who can resist that? Add some musky aftershave. A little garlic. A dash of toothpaste. A slice of shag carpet. No! A roll of toilet paper. No! A trumpet. Fine. Oh, good. I love the smell of music. The moment of truth. <laughs> That is beyond my wildest expectations. <laughs> yeah? Oh, so you like my smell now, huh? I knew you'd learn to love my natural aroma. Everyone does. Right. That's exactly it. I love your natural wild boar smell. Huh? What is that? It's, it's... It's my natural smell. Leave me alone if you don't like it. But, but I love it. I love you. Where could it have come from? <laughs> oh, 
Sam, it's not you, is it? He smells... He smells... So delightful! delightful. <laughs> Have a snack, you charming devil. And you can take our bed tonight. We'll sleep in the garden. Coast is clear. A bacon raid can't commence. Hello, ladies. Maybe it's got a bunch. Before we... <laughs> Kiss you from head to toe! You look all tense. Let me massage these nuts. You're so cool. Yes, I know. Oh, oh, no! Hurry up! We have to go to his place right now! Come on! <sighs> Sam's steak is sorted out and I can finally chillax. Sam is in the building, fans! Oh, ah, yeah! Eugenie, Susie, what's wrong with you? They love me and my awesome smell. Oh, no! My super crazy boar freshener, it's too powerful! Here, girls, it's me. It's Scratch and Sniff. <laughs> I need to talk to you. And I need to talk to you, Washington. Listen, I decided to ditch the disguise. What? What are you saying? The elves will know you're a boar. Big deal. They love the boar smell, they'll love the boar. No! <laughs> Sam, what everyone loves isn't your smell. They love this. You're just jealous of my natural... That stuff does smell good. It's aftershave and bacon grease with a few secret spices. We mixed it up, didn't we, girls? Ah! But I thought it was me that everyone liked. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? That stuff's powerful. Ah! <laughs> Come back to our place, Sam. You can stay forever. <laughs> it's time for our wedding dance, Dreamboat. <laughs> <laughs> Smelling so incredible is a lot of pressure. <laughs> Phew. That's better. A bit of peace and quiet. It's that fat cat that yeah. smells so good. Good wow. kitty! Get it, get it, get it. Get it. Wow. Hey, cat, come oh. over! Good kitty! No, no! The whole city loves me much too much! Washington, stop me from smelling so sweet. I'll do anything. Even a boring bath? <laughs> I'm ready. Bathe me. <laughs> that ought to do it. You sure? To dry clean. <laughs> that ought to do it. Are you sure? Oh! Ah! I'm never gonna get this stuff off me. I'll be hunted forever. There must be a way. Okay, we got rid of your stick by overpowering it with something stronger. Hurry up, Washington! I can't feel my eyes! So we're going to need to overpower that with something even stronger! Super stronger! There's nothing stronger than this delicious aroma! There's one possible thing, but it won't be pretty! Who cares about pretty? Okay. I'll always love him. Love who? I don't remember.
There she is. There she is? Just wait. Is that smell you? You like that? Uh-huh. That is sweet. <laughs> I like your smell, too. Very funny. He's serious. You splash his back, we'll splash yours. Now you're just messing with me. No, no, we... Yeah, we are. You're a stinky, stinky skunk. Why, you lousy... Gross! <laughs> Thanks! You are one weird cat. Just in case you're not messing. So how do I smell? <laughs> Tomatoes, the best cure for skunk stink. Sorry, Sam. Sorry, I love a good tomato bath. So, from now on, you can call me Sam Marinara. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Life, Sam. No dirt, no bugs, no annoying bear. Back in the forest, my only entertainment was picking ticks off my butt. <laughs> Hello, Hello, everyone! everyone. Coming up on Bling My Day House, a doghouse with its own home office. Wow, we could do better than that. How'd you like your very own blinged doghouse, Wash? Huh, boy? Doghouse? <laughs> How come dogs get all the cool stuff? What? Dog houses are the worst. Me, I'll take the people house with AC and snacks. Hmm, Wash doesn't seem excited. Not like the dogs on TV. Strange. Hmm. How? Oh, whoa, whoa! Ah, honey, I think Wash wants a dog house duplex. For him and his best bud, <laughs> Sam. Yeah? Uh, ooh. You heard the dog. Uh, ooh, uh, ooh. Oh, honey, I married the best pet owner in the whole world. I'm going to make you your favorite rhubarb pie. Mm. Oh, <laughs> yum. <laughs> oh, Wash, you have no idea what it's like to have to pretend to like that disgusting rhubarb pie. Lucky you're a dog. Huh? Come on, boy. Aren't you excited? Time to move in yet? Not exactly. Keep it simple. That's my motto. Weird. I feel like I'm being watched. That's what I thought. But it's just Vic. <laughs> I heard something in that tree. Ha! Who is it? <laughs> this is going to sound crazy, but I swear I smelled Mitch the bear. <laughs> I would know the smell of his salmon breath anywhere. Mitch? But he lives in the forest. How would he know where to find us? Don't know. All I know is if it's Mitch, it's not good. He wants something. Ah, uh, it's just Vic. She loves to stare. It's one of her main talents. I don't know. 
Look at your new home, boys. Pretty great, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Wash? Go on, boy. <laughs> Tell you what, let's go get your toys to furnish your pad. Come on, Sam. Here, Wash. Everything looks normal. We'll circle back once more. That was close. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Wow, is that a cave? <laughs> I got a treat this morning and I saved it for you. It's called a housewarming gift. No, oh, you're genie. Can I have just one little bite? Sure, in fact, we should eat that before we go back out there. Just in case. Wash, you heard you, Genie. It's to warm our house. Here's a little something from me. Old newspaper? You can read it and pee on it. It's like two gifts in one. <sighs> I'm sure it's all perfectly safe. Sure it is. <sighs> yep. Nothing here, just my imagination. I can't believe I was acting so crazy. Ah, you guys. Ah! Mitch, what are you doing here? Hiding from those lights. They think they can get me, <laughs> but I'm smarter than them. Boys, I got a possible robbery in progress. Copy that, no bears here. I repeat, no bear, we're on our way. Well, good for you. But you know, you can't stay here, right? Yep, but neither can you. Living with humans, it's against the laws. Laws? What laws? The laws of nature. Anyway, I thought we were friends. We are friends. Long distance friends. Mm -hmm. We live here and you live way over there. Cool, huh? Not cool. I'm taking you guys home to the woods. We're gonna be best next door neighbor friends. <laughs> What are these? Mmm! Whoa! You guys eat those all the time? Yep, after a walk, after a pee. Nope, those are only for special occasions. Very special occasions. This is a special occasion. I came all the way from the forest. So if you don't get me some more, we're leaving right now. No problem, pal. I'll be right back with extra special treats. <laughs> ah! What are you doing back <gasps> so soon? Mitch, it's Mitch. He's in the doghouse. He's come to take us back to the woods. What was that? I hope it wasn't your rhubarb pie exploding because that would be a tragedy. I'd better investigate. Hey, Washington, what's the matter, boy? <clears throat> You don't like the doghouse I poured all my heart and soul into building for you? <laughs> More dog food? Well, okay. Just don't tell the missus. Hmm? Pie's almost done. Yummy. Now I know why you like it here so much. Go get me more. <laughs> And bring me one of these, but softer and bigger. <laughs> Keep the elves busy. We can't risk them coming out while Mitch is here. Here. Um, nothing. Let me see. Mm? <gasps> oh, what are you? <gasps> oh. <laughs> so 
pretty. So, so. She's a house cat. She um doesn't like to be held. Welcome to my house, house cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like the pie's uh, done. Uh, yum, I can taste it already. It just needs to cool a little. Only five more minutes. <laughs> Can't wait. Mm, it smells good. Watch that! Give me that! You want the pie? I can't do that. That's human food. Humans love pie. Well, guess what? I have a feeling I love pie, too! Okay, okay. Pie's on the way. <laughs> hey, get over here! Give me that! Give him the pie, Wash! Come on, Washington! He's getting really mad! <laughs> I want dessert! Hello? My pie! Where did it go? Oh no, not the pie! <laughs> Honey, are you okay? <laughs> Give me my pie! <laughs> you want your pie? Go get it! Freeze, fur bag! Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry about your doghouse, boy. You'll just have to make do with our house. And here's a little something to make it cozier. My famous rhubarb pie. <sighs> Lucky us. Pie! Is that you? I smell you, pie! And now that I love you, I'll be back! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. is super, super awesome. <laughs> Not half as awesome as my super claw. Uh-oh. <laughs> now then, oh. it's time for my favorite show called My Third Nap. Ah! 
you. Huh? Anybody have a bandage? How are we gonna watch our show now? I really wanted to see this one too. I've only seen it seven times. My friends, would Supermask ever back down from the enemy? Never! Never. And would Supermask back down from a little cat claw? Never! Uh, maybe? Great! Here's our mission. We must face off with the diabolical Dr. Victorious and regain control of the TV. Yeah! yeah. Don't make a sound. We're gonna take the enemy by surprise. <laughs> Sam! Sorry, missions make me hungry. <gasps> hey! Why, that's a super yeah. mask! Woo! Super? Super? <gasps> super mask! <gasps> you guys look like real superheroes! Even better than on TV! Yup! And with these masks, no one will ever guess we're wild animals! Totally! <laughs> Change of mission, my friends. Real superheroes have much more important things to do than worry about Dr. Victorious. Yeah. Yes, and what we're gonna do is... Pig out on pizza! Uh, I was thinking more along the lines of... Saving the world? Like Supermask. Hmm? Yeah, okay. Pizza after? This is a mission for the masked box. I hit them behind these garbage cans. Edgar, look at what I just found. We're not looking for cat and dog costumes, knucklehead. We're looking for our masks. Uh, oh, the uh. police! Quick, hide! Oh, big butt, I can't breathe. Hurry up! Oops, sorry. Wash? Sam? Is that uh. you? There's a little surprise waiting for you in the kitchen. <laughs> Suck in your gut, fat cat. <laughs> yum, yum. And who gets uh, some scrumptious kibble wibble? My two little munchkins do. <laughs> Enjoy your meal, sweeties! Wow! 
something worse than prison food. This kid was actually pretty good. We got work to do. Eat later. Feel the wind on your fur. Oh, the joy of being costume free. Stop! Don't make a move, you crooks! <laughs> Stay where you are, Buster. We've got you this time. Uh, change your plans, guys. Run for your life! So, the masks we found, they belong to the burglars. Which is why the police thought we were them. Bingo! So all we have to do is put our costumes back on. Problem solved. Oh, no! The only costumes still here are Eugenie and Susie's. <gasps> the real burglars disguised as us? Burgling our fake identities. And even worse, burgling our house. And way worse than that, stealing our TV. No more super masks. <laughs> hey, <laughs> time for my post-nap snack. And way worse than that, if we don't get our costumes back, no more house! <laughs> Smells like roast chicken. Huh? <laughs> 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 It's us! What proves it's you? Can't you watch what you're doing, you bunch of barbarians? Uh, what happened to your costumes? Let me show you. <gasps> All set? Did we forget anything? Well, I could go for some more kibble. Eh? Burglars! We've got to warn the Living Stones right now! No! First, we have to get our costumes back. <laughs> yeah. Super claws to the rescue! Ah. 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 Chicken to the rescue! <laughs> huh? Did you hear that, honey? Mission accomplished. It's coming from the kitchen. Huh? You? Our costumes, <laughs> quick! Hey! You're the burglars they were talking about on the news! Bingo! I'm going to call the police. As soon as I charge my phone. You're not as fat as you look on TV. Thank, Thank you. you. Breaking news. Infamous burglars Edgar and Marnie were caught today all thanks to a family of very clever pets. Super pets, you might say. Superheroes. And that calls for a real reward. Roast chicken for all. <laughs> You're not cutting wash? Phew. Being a superhero was exhausting. I gotta rest. <sighs> More for me. And that is how the masked fox once again took control of the TV. <laughs> I have defeated you once more, Dr. Victorious. Super Mask! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha!
saw me. That was a close call. Yeah. Oh, diary. I hope you had a nice nap. Because I have a lot of secrets to put in you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can't tell Fluffy everything. Like how Washington drives me wild. Should Susie really be flying that high? She likes to peek into other birds' nests. She gets decorating tips. Ah, uh, girls. <laughs> Ouch! Huh? It better be a joke book. Well, it's got a bunch of funny pictures. Let me see. Oh. 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 Keep an eye on Washington and Sam. Quick, go make sure they haven't destroyed our catnip. <laughs> Wait! Huh? Wait, Washington! Uh, oh, hey, Nugget. I saw you earlier in the yard. <laughs> huh? You saw me earlier in the... Hmm? Hold on. What do you mean? Don't play innocent with me. You know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Nugget, you're not gonna tell anyone, are you? Oh, yes. <laughs> of course. I want the entire world to know. <laughs> no, please. You can't do that. Really? Oh, yeah. Of course. You're right. Because I'm a cat and you're a... Please, Nugget! This has to remain just between us! A secret! Our little secret! I'll do whatever you want! Oh, all I really want is to hang out with you, Washington! No! Uh, okay! Yeah, cool! As a friend with me. <laughs> so, you've been having fun with your new buddy Nugget, huh? While I was all alone, talking about my favorite shows with myself. No, oh, Sam, you don't understand. I understand she's your fancy new friend and I'm just a wild boar from the woods. No, no, I had no choice. No choice. <laughs> she knows our little secret. Yeah. What? And if I don't do what she wants, she's going to tell everyone I'm a fox. And if that happens, we're all doomed. 
But I don't want to leave, TV. Hey, Sam, what about the elves? Them too. Goodbye, elves. I love you, TV. Sam, just chill. Go play with Eugenie and Susie and pretend like you don't know a thing. Okay. I mean it. They'll get all freaked out. Washington. <laughs> you coming? <sighs> Gotta go. Diary, I have so much to say today. Huh? Where is it? Diary, where are you? Oh, 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 oh Diary, how could you have gotten lost? Oh. <laughs> what are you looking at? A picture book. A hilarious picture book. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. The fat cat and that weird-looking dog with the hearts all around him. <laughs> it almost looks like Washington. And that cat, she looks familiar, too. Yeah. My head hurts. Too much thinking. I gotta find Wash. <laughs> Nugget, why are you crying? It's nothing I've done, right? I lost my diary! Your what? <laughs> my diary! It's where I write all my secrets. <sighs> huh? All your secrets? Does that mean our little secret? Yes, especially our little secret. <gasps> <gasps> we gotta find it! But I've looked everywhere. What am I gonna do? Without my diary, it's gonna be impossible not to tell Fluffy. No, 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 no! <laughs> I'm sorry, Washington. I'm very expressive. The vet said so. Can't you just express yourself silently? I would, Washington. But a lot of times my mouth doesn't even check with me before I say stuff. I can't help myself. I'm terrible at keeping secrets from her without it. If I can't, I might as well tell the world! No, 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 don't do that. We don't want the world to find out. Listen, I guess maybe you just go ahead and tell Fluffy everything. Don't you mean we? Oh, right, we. I knew you'd understand. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Hey, Wash. Sam, I don't have a second to lose. We have to go tell her sister our little secret. What? Why? Because she lost her diary. Diary? The book where she writes all her secrets. She says without it, she has to express herself yeah. by blabbing about me to Fluffy. Otherwise, she'll tell the whole world. Yeah. Diary? Nugget? Ooh! <laughs> that diary thing you're reading, whose is it? Nuggets, of course. Yeah? Yeah, it's her diary. That's why it's so funny. Nuggets diary? I need that diary right now! Yeah, right. Check back next week. Give it to me! I need it! <gasps> no way! I'm not done yet! I want to see how it ends! Sorry, but it'll end bad for all of us if I don't get this diary back! It's diary? Nothing about... Nothing about my costume in here? So that means... She never saw you out of your costume! <laughs> oh! I saw you earlier. In the yard. <laughs> the only thing she saw was you! Waving to her! At least she thought you were waving to her. Phew! Washington, you coming? We got.
gotta do what we gotta do. Time to wake her up and spill the beans. Wait, uh... Nugget? It's always gonna be complicated between us. Let's be realistic. You're a cat. Meow, meow. I'm a dog. Woof, woof. Your sister is always going to be an obstacle between us. <laughs> I know. It's tragic. But also tragically romantic. And no matter what happens, we'll always have our little secret. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Washington, you drive me wild. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Silence. Now and then a fox needs a little solo time. Let's <laughs> meet up! Oh, yay! Group walk. Wash, do we have a dog door or a cat flap? Uh, well, technically. And why are there bird doors? Because generally people don't like their pet birds going out. <laughs> hey, look at that. Miss just Alvarez digging. I didn't know dogs dug. You didn't? You didn't either. Sure you did. Oh, fine. Well, guess who else is great at digging? You. Me! Hello, I'm a fox. We dig from diapers. So I can spend the afternoon doing something I love and impressing the elves with some very convincing canine behavior. Hmm. I thought we were going to watch the Adventure Brothers Marathon Season 1. Sorry, pal. Opportunity knocks. We'll help, Wash. Your paws and claws are too little to dig anything important. Actually, they can help. How about you two go find me a nice big bone to bury? Something that'll make a statement. Copy that. Great. Ooh. Thanks a lot. Oh, Sam, you think I want to spend the whole day working? Playing the role of a great dog takes work, you know? Fine. I'll be inside. Sitting on the couch and watching the show. Like a great cat. <gasps> Any old dog can make a hole. Way to the living stones, see this! Watch you, kid! The marathon is starting! Let's kid! Be in soon, buddy! <laughs> this is great! Finally, my own den, where I can relax and be a fox. But I gotta make it my own. My man cave. Not bad, but the iced tea needs ice cubes. Fluff, Washington's doing something weird. What's new? Washington! Oh, hey, Sam. Oh, hey, Sam. What is up with you? You said you were coming in soon. Sorry, but Mr. and Mrs. L never showed up, and I ended up digging more than I expected. I dug a fox den. What? Let me see. I can't. It's my man cave uh, for thinking about life and stuff. What? All alone? Without me? Sammy, you're my best pal. I just need a private place to relax. Stay in touch with my fox side. Sure. I get it. Later, too. <sighs> I'm his everything. Fine.
finally a safe place to hang my photos. Ah, <sighs> but it still needs a certain something. What's he doing in that hole? Why does he just keep burying stuff and not covering it? Yeah, he's kind of interesting. Wait, you think Washington is interesting? No, what? Ugh, of course not. Uh, come on. <laughs> Should have done this months ago. Down there. I lost something? You're acting weird. Yeah. Just what are you up to? Washington? Digging? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh you dug a great big hole. Oh, wow. It's a tunnel. Very impressive. <laughs> but very, very bad, bad dog. We're very disappointed. Time for a timeout. I hope you think about your behavior, mister. Sam! Sam! Come on, help! Ken, I'm on a quick commercial break. Anyway, I wouldn't want to interfere with you a long time. Me. Yes, let's go. No! My stuff! My fox photos! <laughs> what did you stop, Fluff? Let's go! We're stuck, dummy. We're too fat to fit. But you're below me. Shut up! Push! No! This was a dumb idea, Nugget! I know, Fluff. I forgive you. We found an awesome bone wash! Okay, great! I'll leave it right here for you, Wash! Eugenie, Susie, come here, girls. Did you hear that? Must be the echo. Echo who? Huh? Hey! I have to get out of here. Fluffy may be discovering the truth about us this very minute. What? They went down the hole. If they find my fox den, we're finished. I pasted up a bunch of our old pictures down there. Uh, you did? You put up pictures of us? Together? Yeah, of course. I thought you wanted to get away from me. No, jeez. I just wanted a little alone time. Can a guy get a little alone time? Best friendship reinstated. Yeah. <laughs> But we gotta dig! Nuggy, Fluffy! <laughs> it is you! Are you snooping? Shh. Of course you're not, because there's nothing to snoop! But don't touch anything! We're coming! Mm -hmm. Washington? No dig! No dig! Bad boy! We've got a digger! Digger, reveal yourself! No! And my kittens are missing! You've got to find them! Sam, get the girls and bring them back you know where. I need help. <laughs> Fluffy, I have something to tell you. I ate that can of tuna you were saving. 
Nugget, I stole that can of tuna from Victoria, but it was still mine. Okay, guys, time for action. We need to get the girls before they get to my place. Everybody dig, now! I just need a little break. This place doesn't seem so safe anymore. Hello, girls. <laughs> you're stuck. I mean, you're stuck. Help. No. First things first. What were you snooping around for? To get you in trouble. We fell in. Just get us out of here, please. Oh, please watch time. <laughs> okay, guys. Get up. No time to sleep. Fluffy. Nugget. So, promise you'll never come near my man cave again. Never. Let's move out. Save the cats! That's why he was digging. Oh, Washington! We owe you a big apology, boy! Oh, thank you, Bannington. Waddington, whatever your name is. In the form of a sandwich! Here it is. 